hey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting ready to uh, clean some prints. You know, that's what you got to do. You know, you got to get to your isopropyl and you got to soak them and then clean them. And that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, this stuff, you know, isopropyl is not great for you. The resin's not great for you. Why don't you try something like this? So what? Creality. Water washable resin. Greetings, Dave here, DCBFX. I want to talk today about Creality 3D printer UV curable resin. This is the flesh water washable. And yeah, a little tongue in cheek there at the opening. Uh, you still need to be careful. You still need to use, you know, gloves and precautions, things like that. But it's water washable, so you're not dealing with isopropyl. Um, also, I found the fumes on this are quite nice. Well, not nice, I wouldn't call it nice, they're fumes, but not anywhere close as bad as they were or are with a regular resin. Uh, I do this in my office. I do all my resin printing in my office. I would never do this in my house or maybe my garage, I guess, but I would never do it in my house just because the fumes are eh. And I'm in an environment in my office where I'm dealing with computers all day long. So I have solvents and whatnot going on. I have isopropyl I use for cleaning off parts. Mm -hmm. So I have all that available here. So I, I, you know, there are some fumes that are, I'm gonna get because I am working you know, with computers. And also, you know, you get the smell from, you know, the ozone smell from computers and everything else when you fry capacitors and things like that. But this is nice. And you know, now all things being equal, Creality did send me this. They said, can you please review this? So it's not like it's actually sponsored. They sent it to me for free to do an eval on. So I am going to do that. And I'm going to do a very fair and equal review. Now, as you saw, this is the Eiffel Tower. I like this file just because it's you know, very intricate. This took about eight hours to print, but it's very beautiful. And it shows the capabilities of a resin printer. So here's a comparison of um, regular resin. And then this is water wash. So it's a little bit bigger just because, well, bigger bed, so bigger, bigger, uh, bigger print. The one thing I did notice though is right in here. This one, I mean, not so much. I'll turn this around a little bit this way. This didn't print very well at all. When you look compared to here, so I think what it might just be is the print settings. Uh, I don't have a lot I can change in the Hallett box slicer, so maybe a slightly longer exposure time would have done a lot for that. But you know, the quality here is beautiful inside and you know what, when you get right down to it, water wash, it's nice because the fumes aren't as bad. And yeah, I, I was a little tongue in cheek there saying no, you don't need gloves, but you do need gloves to deal with this. It still is partially toxic, but you aren't dealing then with isopropyl alcohol. So the quality here, really quite nice between the two of them. It's done in a mono, uh, any cubic, and this is done in the Creality Hallett Sky. Uh, really nice print. And the fact the fumes aren't quite so bad, I was really, uh, I appreciated that. Now, um, there's some really good things about this. Water washable, that's nice. You know, put it in some hot water, let it sit for a while. One thing I did find though, still very sticky, even with, you know, rubbing it down in water and then running under warm water, rubbing down some more and all that, and then curing it. I cured it for probably three times longer than I normally would for a resin print, still a little tacky. So I'm still figuring out the best process for water washable. Now this is the first time I've ever used water washable. Everything I've used has been a standard isopropyl, which is why I haven't done a lot of printing in the last year and a half, because for a while their isopropyl was like, it was worth more than gold. You can, couldn't find it anywhere. Now that things have been relaxed quite a bit, you can find it. I have several bottles in the office, as you saw in the opening. Uh, several used bottles too, I need to take off to uh, hazardous waste for, uh, for recycling. But if you're looking at getting into this, and especially looking at getting into doing some printing in your home because you're a hobbyist and you want to do some of this, yeah, the fumes are much nicer. Again, not nicer. They are a lot less. They're not as bad as they could be on, you know, a standard resin that you're using isopropyl and everything else for. But I'm still playing with this. So this is, I guess, the best way to call this is an introductory 
review of this water wash resin because I still have a lot of things to do with it. I have some friends who have asked for some files and I'm going to be printing those out uh, just because I've got the larger size and I figure I will kill two birds with one stone by you know using resin that I've been sent to review as well as some files they'd like me to print so I can do, or do both. So in the onset or my initial review on this I would say works. It works quite well. It's a resin and you know, this is a great printer so I really didn't have any issues getting it going. As soon as I started doing the print I can immediately hear it ripping off the FEP. I also want to say on this as a total aside this is the easiest FEP replacement I've ever done. When I got this machine it was used so it had a bit of a mm, on the FEP and some of the things I printed I had to move across the bed in order to get it print right because there were some issues with it. So I said you know what let's just replace the FEP. They sent me another one the easiest FEP replacement I've done. Uh, Creality has really, they've done a good job because they, what they've done is the replacement is made exactly for this printer. So it's got all the right alignment holes and everything. You don't have to get it in and then you have to cut it to make it fit. It just, and there's 14 screws and it just fit very nicely and no leaks, there's nothing on here. So obviously I did it right. So this is the first of many. I've got a lot more things to print on this, but uh, I didn't even, don't even know what the price point is. I'll have to check with Crowley what the price point is. But if it's really in range with everything else, why not go with something that's less toxic uh, by way of cleaning? Why not go with something that doesn't require isopropyl alcohol? And you know, that stuff evaporates like crazy, so you forget to put the top on and it's gone. So something with water, which then you can, uh, you know, you're still gonna get the residue in the water, which then you would cure to get the particulate out, and then you'd still wanna do something with the water to recycle it, but it's not as toxic as isopropyl is. So that's just what I want to talk about today in regards to that. Uh, I want to thank Creality for sending it to me. I'll thank them for reaching out to say, hey, can you review this for me or for us? And I'm going to do more prints and see exactly how this ends up. Uh, at the onset, I like it just because it's less toxic. I, I do enjoy just that part of it. So check back later. I'll have more reviews on this. I have, a, it's, this is a liter of flesh. Um, some comments from my kids. I also have a liter of gray. So I'm going to keep printing and I'll go through both and see what's going on. And maybe I'll check back with Crowley. There's an update to the Halle box that they can make a few more changes into uh, the settings. But as I showed in the little uh, close up, you know, it's a little bit, little bit there. And this is pretty intricate. So, you know, it's not like it's a deal breaker for me. It's, it's pretty amazing. So that's all for today. I'll talk to you all soon. Hope everyone's having a great day. And we'll talk to you all later.